Hey guys, and welcome to a quick math lesson over converting measurement. When we convert measurement, it's really easy if we use a proportion because it takes the guesswork out. I cannot tell you how many times I have students make mistakes because they divide instead of multiply or they multiply instead of divide. If you use a proportion, you're less likely to make mistakes. When you are working with converting measurements, you are looking for the conversion factor. This guy's really important. It's going to tell you how much each thing is. It's kind of like a unit rate in that it's going to tell you how much one thing is. Here are some examples of conversion rates. One foot is 12 inches. Three feet is one yard. Notice that in the conversion factor, there's a one somewhere. That's how you know, oh, that's my conversion factor. So if I have this example, 16 ounces is one pound. So how many pounds is 123 ounces? Fun fact, that is how much I weighed when I was born because when I was trying to think of an example, that was the only one I knew. So when I set up my proportion, 16 ounces and one pound is going to be the first part of my proportion, 16 ounces and one pound. And then this is also ounces, so this is ounces. Ounces goes across from ounces. Match up your units, label your units. You're less likely to make a mistake if you're labeling your units because then you'll see if you get them flip-flopped. And then for this one, how many feet is 21 inches? Again. That is how long I was when I was born. So, how many feet is 21 inches? How many feet? Oh look, I need to find this. So I know that one foot is 12 inches. So how many feet, I don't know feet, is 21 inches? So inches goes across from inches. Feet goes across from feet and then you cross multiply and divide. With this one, cross multiply and then divide. That's it. Set up a proportion. Label your units. Seriously. Label, label, label. See you guys later.